Daryl McMahon makes three changes from the side that dramatically beat Dulwich Hamlet last Saturday. Joe Wright comes back in between the sticks with Dion Curtis Henry, whilst Tommy Hoban makes his first league start since October, replacing Jack Taylor, who's been recalled from his loan back to Sutton United. In midfield, Tom Wright drops into a more defensive role, meaning there's a first start for Mauro de Silva Vilhete, who scored the winner last week. Top scorer Liam Nash returns to the bench after a month out. Tom Wright to take this corner in the early minutes here. Whips it in. Header on, and it's deflected out. Will Hornchurch get another chance? They won't. The ball is cleared out to Gio Critchlow. Critchlow over to Ben Allen. Back to Critchlow. Critchlow now advancing on goal. Will he get the shot away? He does, but it's a tame effort. Straight into the arms of Joe Wright. Corner taken short from Harringay Barra. Here's Leacock McLeod. Deflected up into the air. Here's the Jesse Sambu. Heads it down, and Ben Allen gets the touch. It's a goal, but it's going to be ruled out for offside there. Ben Allen straight into the offside position. And that's a let off for Hornchurch. Tom Ray standing over this corner now. Fires it in. And a boat post is Tommy Hoban. And he gets his first goal and his return back to the starting lineup. Stroll into the box, completely unmarked. And hits it down on the volley. Great finish there from the centre back. Shins it into the net. And the Harringay keeper looks perplexed. Comes out to Harringay. Has a pop. Deflected out by Ryan Scott. Come up to Femiak in one day. It's a fantastic ball there. Looking for the silver Vilhete. Great touch. He has a pop. Didn't quite get himself over it. Sean Scannell. Michael Donahue's plenty of space out on the, the left hand side. Tommy Hoban won't need him though. There's Quentin Monville. It's a great partnership down the right hand side with George Saunders. Great ball there looking for Michael Donahue. Back to Tommy Wright. Big loopy cross in. Here's Sean Scannell on the back post. Can't quite get the volley on. And O'Donoghue gets tackled. There's no penalty in there. Right. Header. And it's a goal. Mauro de Silva Vilhete scores again after his winner against Dulwich Hamlet. That's two and two. And two headers as well. Just doesn't get picked up at all. Great whip him from Tom Ray, as always, and a nice looping header there. Catches everyone unawares. Fantastic leap. And it's 2 0 to the Urchins. As I say, it's been fairly routine so far. Hornchurch haven't had to get out of second gear. Ball forward there from Haringey. And there's Gio Critchlow who has gone round Quentin Monville in the box. And a pop, and there's a great save there from Joe Wright after Alfred Bobson balling. Attempts to go for the top right-hand corner. Joe Wright hasn't had to do anything all game, but was alert there to make that save. Akiwende holding up play. Oh, that's a fantastic loop over the head. Great back heel there from De Silva Vilherte. Here's Fabi Akiwende. And it would be blocked and go out for a corner. Tom Wright into the box. Ryan Scott tries to get ahead on it, tries to go for the volley. And then Vilhete with the overhead kick. Outrageous. Liam Nash chasing play down. Goal hits it, loops wildly into the air. Doesn't go very far at all. Great win there from Tom Wright. Here's Akimande again. Holding up play. Monville on the overlap. Squares it across goal, and it's Liam Nash! It's a third for the Urchins. And it's a goal for Liam Nash on his return to the squad after a month out or so. Reaffirming his status as Hornchurch's top goal scorer, which uh, Fabiaki one day was threatening, actually. It's going to be a nice little race between them to see who gets the Hornchurch goal and boot. Fantastic ball cross from Monville, and that's as easy a tap-in as you'd like. for the cross here. Great header out there from 
away from Cooper. And play is regained. It's Liam Nash. It's 3 3 here against Haringey. Akiwane is making a fantastic run. Liam Nash finds him. Goes for the pop. And it's stopped in the end from Dylan Barnes. Lee Cott McLeod on the ball here. Quinton Monville looking to close down. McLeod goes onto his right foot, has a shot, and it is high and wide. And Harringay not looking like they're going to find their consolation goal this afternoon. Into re injury time now. This play is given back to Oli Muldoon. Akin Wande tries to find the run there from Liam Nash. Doesn't quite materialise. Want to regain the ball again. Another wayward pass from Haringey. It's Tom Rate this time. Great ball through there to Fabian Akin one day. Here's Akin one day. Turns his man, goes for the shot, and it's just wide. Fortunately, he won't get his name on the score sheet today. But doesn't detract from a fantastic 3 0 win for the Urchins. <laughs> 